ladies, Knight is back with our next match. Gonna be a good one, too. With Mandy Rose, set to face Rossi Flores, joined by her manager, Al Jefe himself, Ray Guns. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy Rose. While Mandy Rose may be experiencing problems elsewhere in her career, she knows the door is always open here at RWL. And here she is tonight, ready to compete with Rossi Flores. And the Allentown crowd sure looks and sounds happy to see her in action, Christy. I'm sure they are. Mandy's a big name in this business, and the fans, hey, they love them some Mandy Rose. That's what makes this match such a big chance for Rossi Flores. Get yourself a whole lot of recognition taking down a big name like Mandy's. She's got a reputation as a bit of a powerhouse very strong for her size. Think that might be a factor against Rossi. She could overpower a bigger opponent, given the right set of circumstances, but we'll just have to see, Wally. and his sideline hobby. When he and Eddie aren't competing, Ray Guns has invested in a stable of beauties he believes could be champions someday. And Miss Rossi here is the flagship of the fleet, you could say, as she seems to be his best pupil, but even she's never competed with anyone on Mandy Rose's level. Again, babe, we just have to let the match run its course. I'll give it to you, Christy. And since both these competitors are really skilled, it's bound to be a good match. It'll be a great match. Just hard for me to say who's going to win it at the end. OK, we'll begin with both ladies in a collar and elbow tie up. Mandy Rose with the edge and look at the sheer power of Mandy, just lifting Rossi Flores into a vertical suplex as her first move. I'd call that making a first impression, Kirsty. She's small, but she's wiry too. You know how people say that, right? It's usually true. And in this case, Mandy Rose fits the term, and Rossi backs her off, and Rossi flips the script on Mandy, has her in the fireman's carry, drops her into a little Carrie Von Eric style tornado punch. Yes. Yes, that was pretty badass, huh? Rossi having words with the referee, saying get the hell out of the way, you're ruining the shot. He's ruined the moment for Rossi, she changes her mind and hope he smokes, tags Mandy a shot that fells her like an oak tree. Wow, she can really move. She got across that ring so quick, Mandy didn't have a chance to recover. Damn, I doubt she even saw it coming. Rossi with a top rope missile dropkick puts Mandy down the canvas. Mandy's got a hold of Rossi's leg. Mandy Rose takes Rossi down with a dragon screw, but the switch flipped again by Rossi into a roll-up pin. No dice, but what a slick counter move by Rossi Flores. She's a mean one, stamping on Mandy's face like that. Yeah, she mean. Mandy Rose again countering with the dragon screw, and it looks like that last one twisted Rossi's knee badly. Mandy's just unloading on Rossi. She wants to be back in control of this one. Nasty slap from Mandy, and Rossi didn't like that, and she tags Mandy with a quick jab. And Uwali, Rossi driving those knees into Mandy's midsection, and look at this right here, Rossi's cooking up a little something. Signals the crowd, and here we go, and out goes Mandy Rose onto the outside. Yeah, and here's where things are gonna get a little untamed, Christy. With both these ladies taking their chances on the outside floor, this is where people get hurt, and as a competitor, you always reduce your chances of winning by just brawling outside the ring. Yeah, but the kids love it. You, my dear lady, have spent far too much time hanging around with Mike Lane, and he's rubbing off on you. 
Rossi whips Mandy Rose to the outside again after what turned out to be a very short return inside. And Rossi Flowers is heading up top. Seriously high-risk maneuver in the works here. Mandy sees it coming just evaded. And it's a crash and burn for Rossi on that one. Mandy Rose perhaps going for a sidewalk slam, but Rossi counters with a knee, and Mandy is stunned. And here comes Rossi with a blistering salvo of blows, ending with a vicious knee to the skull. That sends Mandy Rose collapsing senseless to the floor. I have to admit it, Wally. Rossi Flowers has definitely shown a lot of potential in this match, where most people would expect Mandy Rose to just finish her off in a few minutes. Well, let's face it, that ain't happened so far, has it? It sure hasn't, and agreed. With Mandy Rose heavily favored to win this match, Rossi has sure made it a tough slog. Now, with Mandy grounded, Rossi going to work on Mandy's leg muscles, working on taking some of the power out of those legs. Just lighten her up. And now again, Rossi has Mandy back to her feet as Rossi sends her cascading across the arena floor. She has taken Mandy nearly the whole way round the horn here. And hey, big props to El Jefe Ray Guns, who stayed in the background, nice and quiet, no fighting with the ref, no trying to slip a little chair into the ring. Nothing. Man's been on his best behavior. That's his policy when standing ringside during one of his ladies' matches. They absolutely have to sink or swim on their own to prove their worth. Face Buster DDT, and Mandy has gone far away, as Rossi moves in for the pin, and count to a hundred by fives. This one is over. Upset pinfall win by Rossi Flowers. Here is your winner, Rossi Flowers! Well, ain't that something? I would have betted all that Mandy Rose would get her hand raised quick in this one, but Rossi made a fool out of everybody, and Ray Guns, looking just as happy as if he'd won himself. Maybe he does have a future as a manager? What do you say, Wally? El Jefe does seem to have a knack for scouting talent. Usually, very good-looking talent, and I guess he could hitch his wagon to a worse star than Rossi Flowers, and they will both be celebrating this win late into the night. All right, we've still got more action ahead, including tonight's main event, so don't you go and change it.